glad we're back. With a little taste of oxygen not included. There was a, a post from someone on Reddit there about, about a month ago. I, I bookmarked it. And it was basically uh, they had run their base into the ground and they wanted help. But it just sounded like they'd made all of the classic mistakes that everyone makes running oxygen not included. Like using mealwood. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of mealwood. Hiring too many dupes. How do you have 44... Okay, 44 dupes by cycle 281 has got to be a record. That's... That's impressive. Running on mealwood? Okay, okay. The plan here is I want to try and salvage as much of the base as I possibly can and keep as many dupes alive as possible. Assuming there's... What the... Ooh. That's... Interesting. Well, let's just check the heat overlays first. That's probably not our biggest concern, but I just want to make sure there's... Okay, that's uh, a little bit scaldy over there. We might want to stay away from that location. What's going on? Saltwater geyser outputs at 95C. Oh, that's... That's why this entire area is toasted. Ah! Okay, that might want to get sealed off at some point. Uh, does that say slime lung germs? What are the germs looking like? Dear God, why? Oh my... It's even up here in the living... Oh no, it's... Oh. Oh, it's everywhere. It's literally slime lung top to bottom. No, nope, no, nope, there's some areas here that are not slime lung. That's because there's only tiny fractions of oxygen in there. <laughs> oh, great. This place is pretty much not oxygenated. That would... Right then. Uh, where is your food? Mm, where are the... It's got to be like... Where's the... Never mind, where's the room overlay? Let's have a quick look at where your dining area is. There's no rooms. There's no bedrooms. There's... What is that? That is a hospital. Uh, there's a massage clinic. But there's no bedrooms, there's no washrooms, there's no dining hall, there's not. Oh my god, what's everyone's morale like? Uh, okay, duplicate has died. High stress, 11. Oh, wow. Uh, what's everyone's... Yeah, everyone's stress has got to be... This is fine, this is fine. Four people have slime lung. Oh, wow, there's a lot of people on zero. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, okay, we got a, some people at 82. Right, right. Food. Where is the food? Uh, where are you keeping any of this stuff? All right, I think I need to let the game run for just a second so it can catch up with maybe the calories. Oh, unless they have literally zero. I think... I think they might not have any calories at all. There is zero food. Oh, and they have 80 kilos of dirt. Well, that is... Uh, that's a problem. Oh, wait a minute. Have they been making... Yep, they've been making mush bars. No. No, can't be doing that. Well, mush bars are done, I'm afraid. Uh, also, they have no power for the deodorizers, which is why the place is covered in polluted oxygen. Uh, we need food. Is there any, like, even a scrap of food? We probably... Best survival technique would probably be getting mushrooms up and running. The problem is surviving long enough to get mushrooms because the calories are at zero. All right, let me do some looking around here. If I see anything uh, particularly egregious, this is amazing. This is amazingly bad, but, you know, in a good way. I don't know if there's a way out of this. This, this just gets weirder. There's a whole bunch of fertilizer synthesizers over here. I was trying to figure out where the piping was, what piping was going or doing. And there's polluted water coming from down here in a sort of a polluted water, clean water. Uh, there's, yeah, there's a ton of clean water on top of all of the, the dirty water, or the polluted water. Polluted water comes up here. I think the clean water is going to get filtered out, but uh, polluted water, you'd think that would be going that direction, but it doesn't. That goes straight into an output pipe, so this all seems to be going in here through here, then this branches off and feeds all these fertilizer synthesizers. Uh, well, at the same time, it also rushes through here and around to cool this area down, I presume. We're going to have to plug all of those out. We, we don't need fertilizer. Fertilizer is, well, kind of pointless. Uh, you can all go. Yet yeah, we, we don't need you. Man, that is just... We also have an oil refinery over here. What? Like, and a copper... Or pump. So there's a copper ore pump here immediately overheating because it's 80 degrees in here. There's no way that's going to survive. Oh, spore kids. Please tell me you didn't let any spore kid germs in here. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're good on that front. Uh, I think we can disconnect some of the other stuff over here as well. Uh, and I need to keep looking. There's got to be some food somewhere. I have figured out a few things as we've went along. One, they've put in Atmos suit docks here. I presume after a bunch of scaldings, they, they decided that was necessary. And to fill it, they're using oxygen that is coming from all the way over here. Yeah. So this oxygen is being pulled out of this section, 
pumped through here. However, the power requirements for all of this stuff. Here's all the big batteries. There's a big heavy watt wire conductive core going through everything. Uh, whew. At the same time, I have found food. Uh, originally, what I noticed was there is... Ah, over here. We have sleep wheat grain 18, sleep wheat grain 18. We've also got some water weed over here. We definitely have access to fungal spores. And considering the amount of uh, slime along the place, I'm, I'm not too worried about digging through uh, slime right now. Uh, at the same time, there's some fish over here we could kill for calories. And, oh, and down here, there's even more sleet wheat grain. So there's actually quite a bit of sleet wheat grain. In fact, down here in this water, there's one grain there, another 38 grains there, and 19 there. We need to get the 38 out, as they are going to start going off. Uh, they're degrading at three minus 3% of cycle. Uh, well, yeah, if we don't get to them before they degrade, I'm pretty sure all the, the duplicants will be dead. So we need to get the duplicants down here. So the first thing I'm going to do is cancel all of the build commands. There is yellow alerts to get power wires built over here. Uh, there's seven dupes that are starving. Uh, that's going to be our number one concern. Oxygen will come second. Okay, uh, done and... Wait, how can we see that? Oh, petrified fossil thing. Uh, yeah, not going to worry about it. Not going to worry about it. What we need to do is... Oh. And we need to disable a bunch of things. Power cut off from this section. Check. Uh, in fact, yep, power can be cut off from this whole section too. Done. We don't... Oh, there's the bathrooms. I was wondering where you were. Are they actually working? No, I don't see any water going to them. Oh. And... Carbon skimmers? No. Nope, 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 nope. We can take the carbon skimmers out of it, and actually, we can get rid of you. That water, where's that water going to go? You're going to flow down there and go to... Oh, more toilets! Why is there two sets? You know what? I don't care. It's the food we've got to worry about the most. So, uh, down here, this is the number one priority. Nope, actually, there's more stuff we have to do. We have to... Oh, wow. No. You are all reduced to priority one. Priority one, and the farming has all got to go to priority one. In fact, all this farming over here, yep, you're all done. Actually, not only that, we're going to stop people from going in here. We don't want anyone going in there to do anything anymore. And if there's someone in there, they're trapped, aren't they? Nope, nope, we'll make sure that the only thing they can do is come out. Finished. Okay, anything else i got to disable? Oh my god, it's metal refineries. Active metal refineries. No steam turbine, they're just... Okay, so they're dumping water into this. The water's coming in at 35, then it outputs here. Goes down and... Oh, no, that's an output too. Goes down here and... Nope, that's also an output down. Uh, Pops across here into this and either gets filtered out or gets set straight on. Looks like it's filtered out this direction. That must be clean water. Yep, that filters out the water. Water goes across here and gets stored... How much water do you have lying around the place? Hmm, that's actually a good chunk of water. Uh, the excess goes up here and gets fed into these electrolyzers, which are all, of course, out of power. Uh, can I sever that when it's set? No, I'll have to sever a whole chunk of the space if I do that. Okay, fine, we'll leave those on. For now. Okay, okay. Uh, Priority-wise, yes, we need to install at least a ladder down here. Give me igneous rock. Uh, let's make that a... Uh, Get this done now, sort of priority. And then we're going to need to, yeah, that stoops can come down here. I'm going to make sure someone puts in that there. And then I'm also going to want you to dig out this granite. That's going to be a high priority. That means the duplicate can come down, hop. Assuming they don't starve to death or long away or like run out of oxygen, they should be able to get down there. We need a better way, but we only need to get down there once or twice and we'll be. F that should at least tide us over for the first cycle ish. Now you, why are you broken? How did you even get damaged? Why did you get damaged? You know what? Don't care. Uh, we will disable auto repair on you. How much resources do we have? Perfect. Yeah, we got, we got enough. We can put you right there. Uh, power wise. Oh my god. We got to set up power requirements for everyone. Let's see what the settings on priorities is. That's a lot of tidying. Strength of 19? Strength skill of 14? How? They come with the personal interests of supplying and tidying. Do they pick a lot of tidying people? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Not going to worry about it. I'm going to have to reset all of these, aren't I? And I need to give all these duplicants better names. 
Oh, wow. They're all on one schedule. That is... That's a lot of schedule. A lot of downtime. A lot of bedtime. Oh, okay. First I'm going to name them all, then I'm going to change their schedule. Why are they both the mechatronics engineer and the cook? Why would the engineer need to... Look, this is... Yep, this is going to be what? Oh, improved farming. And actually, add a rocket pilot. The rocket pilot critter ranching farmer. No! No! <laughs> this is pretty much all the mistakes you can possibly make. It's wonderful. I remember making all of these all of these mistakes as well in my first few early ones. All right. I need to pick like a lane for some of these. Uh, the ones I'm more, most important right now is the ones with super hard digging. I need the ones that can dig through abyssalite. Uh, yeah, abyssalite mining is going to be important for some of the areas we want to access. So far I found number 17. Oh yes, I've renamed all of them to something more appropriate. Uh, this way I won't forget their names. This is weird. This is the second astronomer I found that also has super duper hard digging. I presume it's for the skill gain, giving them the science bonuses. So they get plus six science so they learn stuff faster and they do the digging too. Uh, you will be... you can be a cook. We, we do need one of those. This is a crazy mix of skills. There are a lot of mechatronics engineers. Like normally I like two or three, but this is, this is, there's three of them just right here alone. There's four, uh, Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. Now I just got to set up all their priorities. We've got their hats assigned out so that when I come in here, I could look at their heads and go, oh, damn it. Let's sort differently. Hopefully it'll bring up the hats or they're going to have to wait until they get their hands on some. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah, we'll let them try and dig down here. Whoever's closest. Come on, move it. Is there going to be enough oxygen for all of them is the question, I suppose. Wow, that is treacle slow. I suppose there's a lot going on and I do have it on the slowest speed. It's just we need to get them down here as quickly as possible before six of them die. Uh, damage overheating. Yeah, you disable auto repair. We do not want you being repaired. Yellow alerts. Uh, yep, these are the ones you're working on and nine starvations now. We need those quickly. Oh, and that reminds me, I need to put together... Yeah, this, and that needs to be maximum priority. We also need people to get on the wheels. Excellent. That should start charging the batteries. No, there is no power available. What's going to be draining all the... <gasps> incubators. No, we do not want the incubators on here at all. They're just going to rip the power out of this place. Uh, you need to all go. You need to be deconstructed. You need to be deconstructed. And you need to be deconstructed. And all of you need to be deconstructed at priority nine. What else needs to go? Uh, actually, all of you. You can just be the buildings. You all need to go. In fact, you can all go at priority nine. We do not want you. What else is going to be drawing all the power? Uh, I think we can sever this entire section here. Yep, you can all go. Uh, the science lab will leave. Ah, oh, more stuff over here. You can all go. Uh, in fact, yep, you're gone. You're gone. And that goes off way over there, and you're gone. <laughs> I'm so glad they included the snip stool. Uh, you can stay, assuming you're not set to actually make anything. No, nope. uh, that will be a... Gone. Gone. Perfect. All right. Next up, what else is plugged in? Please tell me there's no more. All right, we got hydrogen generators over here. These gas pumps. Uh, I presume those gas pumps are filtering out the hydrogen? Well, there's not going to be enough here for them, so... Yeah, you can all go as well. Uh, over here, you can all go as well. And over here, yeah, you can all go as well. I don't think anything over there needs to be getting power. That's a lot of junk to the... Oh! This... Yep, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Newer players. They're gonna do what they're gonna do. And we're all there once. Now, you can all be turned off as well. In fact, we need to cut power. Just we need to be ruthless about this. Oh, you can go as well. And you can go to... Massage tables. They might actually be necessary considering the sheer quantity of stress we get going on. Showers? Showers? No. No more showers. Showers are just gone. Like, no. No. Uh, you. Yep, you all need to go. Both of you can also be deconstructed in your own time. 
Now, is any duplicates on their way down to your uh, errands? Yep, we got a supply errand, and yeah, we're going to need you to hurry up. And we're looking on this front. Okay, we got a little bit of power dribbling in, and we should get more once the rest of this stuff is gone. Okay. Um, actually, one, two, three, four. Leave four of these. We're going to need some oxygen. It's going to make the place uncomfortably warm, but that's fine. For now, though, we shall disable these buildings. Okay. Has anyone gotten down there and found this stuff? Nope, not yet. Uh, over here, how are we looking? What's going on? Why is everyone rubbing their eyes? Is this place covered in... Oh, hydrogen. Great. Hey, uh, you. Uh, enable auto repair on that one. Come on. Anyone want to get around to this stuff? These generators are going to keep us going just a little bit longer, but we need to get food in. We've got eight people on the verge of starving to death. Anyone? Come on. Okay, if Muppet cracks that open, that means the sleep we grin is accessible. Eh, we want that moved to over here. As quickly as possible. Uh, we're, you know what, we'll get that as well. Both of those up there should give us the necessary food just to tide us over the start. Priorities-wise, people have got their hats on, so now I can figure out who's doing what. Using the hats as a guide, we basically got as many good diggers as we can going on, some constructors, mechatronics engineers. We have a few people who are going to be doing ranching and things like that, but we don't really care. Oh, we've got two cooks, because we're going to need to start cooking buns the moment we get that uh, seeds from down here. Uh, that's open. Who is grabbing that? Anyone? Damn it. Okay, how do I make that the highest priority possible? Uh, you. Nope. Eh, that should work. Okay, we should have one of the Muppets that will be along shortly to pick those up. Seriously? Oh, it doesn't show up under there. It shows up in the other one. Okay, fine. We've got people assigned, and does anyone want to maybe fix these? Anyone? Come on. There's so many of you who we can figure just to do the right thing. You've got to do construction or repairs or... Thank you, Muppet9. Your name is perfect. All right. Uh, what else have we got left to do then? Well, then once we get the food in, assuming we can get the food in, we're going to need to put in... Oh, yeah. Second, give me buildings. We're going to need to put in a dining hall so that we can get some morale in so that people stop having mental breaks all the time. I'm thinking a full-size dining hall will be better. Oh, major eye irritation. And we should probably start mopping this place up at least. At least this place should be mopped up. And your bedrooms. Oh, my God. This is wrong. This, this is not how duplicates are supposed to... Well, okay, it is kind of how duplicates live a lot in the beginning. But this this is not how duplicates should be living now. We've had years, people. Can we not get better conditions for the poor dupes? All right. Oh, scheduling. Right. Yeah, I should fix this. Finally, they are all on four dupe schedules. Now, the plan here is just to try and survive... Well, survive and keep as many of these duplicates alive as possible. And I'm kind of shocked none of them have starved yet. Uh... You should really all be very starved. Did you just pick up the wart seed and leave all the food behind? I am... I'm not going to say raging, but I, I'm quite unhappy with that turn of events. You. Uh, I want you to immediately make frost buns. Forever. Priority nine. Priority nine. Yeah, you know what? Disable auto repair on that. We do not care about the gas range. Gas range can go to hell. We don't... We just don't care. Uh, over here. Mm, doors. Yeah, we got a couple of these. We'll put in... Delete that. And we're going to try and fit in a... The largest possible dining hall we can. We're going to need at least two of them. That is the worst way I've ever seen anyone go dead. Why? What is wrong with you? You, uh... You have yucky lungs, soppy wet, and you're mourning, and you're hungry. Oh, you're clutching your stomach because you're starving. Well, move faster, and we'll get you some food, okay? Come on, come on, come on. Move it. Oh, did you drop? Seriously? You dropped it? You dropped it right there? You couldn't... Mm, it's fine. It's fine. 
I think we're gonna lose a few. Okay, probably, definitely a few. Okay, you guys go there. Uh, now we have to turn this place... Actually, that heavy watch joint plate can go as well. We're gonna turn this place into a dining hall as soon as we can, so that hopefully people stop having massive mental stress outs. Uh, why is there no battery power to those? What did I sever where to do that? Oh, God. This? This was the connection between the entire top half of the base and the bottom half. I somehow managed to... Okay, okay, that's fine. That is fine. Uh, we don't have a lot of gold amalgam left or anything like that. You know what? Let me get a little bit of this power cable recycled. I think all of that can go. We don't have to worry about technology and a few other things just yet. Uh, this can all go right here. And um, Yeah, you can all go. And no, we are going to use some... Anything that's lying around, basically. That is a lot of copper, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, they're cooking, finally. What's wrong with you? How did you even get hurt? You know what? Just not matter for now. Just get those meals cooked. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. Anyone else? Come on. You have... Where are you all going? Oh, you're going to have to cut that. Okay, hungry people, come over here and grab your food immediately. Come on, come on. Where's all this water coming from? Uh... What? Oh, right. This ice biome is sort of melting down into here. Well, there's nothing really much we can do about that just yet. We'll have to worry about that later. And why is this here? Is to keep the water out? What? Uh, you can all go. All of you. Uh, well, I'm not even sure why this gap is here. Is there a reason for this? To make the room... Oh, it's probably to make the room smaller so it gets the room bonus? I I'm not sure I care enough. Uh, you guys, keep cooking. How are we looking? Okay, are you eating? People should be eating now. Okay, what's our starvation at? Our starvation's at 10. How are more people starving? We're cooking! Stop starving. Alright. Next up, uh, we need to get a dining hall for them to eat in. So, furniture-wise. Mess table. No industrial machinery. Uh, maximum size of 120. Fancy decor item and a recreational building. Right. Uh, recreational building, then. We'll put that at the very end. So, we'll cancel you two. I think we'll just stick in a traditional water cooler. Done! Alright, get that finished as soon as you can so people have somewhere to eat and I can make sure they are eating. How do we, how are 11 people starving now? Please, please, just, you know, do something here. Uh, we need to put a storage container here for the sleet wheat. So, give me a fridge. Perfect, we'll put a fridge right there. That planter pot can go as well, we'll probably stick to a second. What that? That entire thing can go. We don't need the gas range. And where else are all of the fridges? Oh, uh, yeah, they're all over here, aren't they? Where are they? Yep, there's all the fridges. We can ignore those. They're all blocked off. Okay, how's our power looking? Power grid's fine. People are getting the occasional massage. Uh... Okay, food's going on. But we're... Okay, nine starvation, so it's not the end of the world. I think a third cook station might be in order. While that's going on, we're also going to want to break in here and get access to these. We're also going to want to break in down here, is it? I think there's more of them in here. Yeah, there's another 18 there, another 18 there. Ooh. Another 18, but I think there's 36 or something up here in one stack. Yep, 36 in one stack. I think this is one we should definitely get into sooner rather than later. So, yeah, up like that. Get in. There, that's another 36 feet wheat, and there's another 36 up there. And I think I'm going to break into here as well. This stuff is harvest ready, so getting their hands on that would be good. This stuff seems to be perfectly well preserved. It will break in there. There's a few places, but definitely that's going to tide us over. Now i got to figure out where we're going to put our mushroom farms. Uh, we need carbon dioxide. This place might be the best location. Oh, the carbon dioxide pressure is really low. I need to find a big ball of carbon. Ooh, there you go. There's some carbon dioxide right down there. Full of slime lung germs, but that can be fixed. All right, so we take the carbon dioxide maybe and pump it in. Oh, no, it's too far away. I need some way of getting carbon dioxide quickly and efficiently into this location that doesn't require us to pump gas from way down here. We don't have the time or the resources to do that. 
Oh, it's the stress vomiting that's causing stuff to start appearing everywhere. Right. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, everyone should get a quick massage in there. Uh, we should probably make that a priority eight. This room is no longer a massage clinic, so it's uh, getting a slight de Oh, God. And would someone mop up that water? <laughs> we'll make that mop command a level six. All right. I'm going to put in a third cook station. Uh, people are grabbing their food. Starvation's decreased slightly, which I think is a good thing. We'll put in another grill. Uh, we'll get that started cooking the, uh, the buns as well. I think we're good-ish. Oh god, this place down here is an absolute mess. Uh, I think we also need to improve airflow. So we need to grab... Oh, actually mesh tiles might be our better I a better idea right about now. Is that wolframite? No, 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 no. We'll use iron here. See, the thing is, the auction's not getting up as much as it should. This place is probably the best place. Oop. Mesh tiles, either side. This will give us a three-lane gap so that the gases from down here can go up a bit. Should help a little bit with gas flow. I'm also going to put in a bunch of mesh tiles here, all the way up to the center. Actually, that reminds me. Put a couple there and there. Uh, nice. And that should allow gas flow from down here as well, all the way from these uh, algae terrariums. They're, they're putting out a lot of pressure. It's just it's not getting where it needs to go. We'll get around... Oh my god, there's water everywhere. The love of... Please fix this. Please. I've got your priority set correctly. Where is... Oh yeah, we need bathrooms for everyone too. And we don't have dirt, so we need to use water to get the bathrooms running. Ooh. Where are we going to put those? We've got stress vomiting, starvation, and people running around injured. But once they get a dining hall up and running, just, just a little bit. Okay, we need to get this up and running as well, so we'll make that a priority seven. Once the water cools up and running, this should be a proper location. Where are you going? Stop that! Come back here and finish building this! Muppet. How does that have water? Yeah, I did have to plug back in this so we have some water going into the system. Its job... Wait a minute. Why is that not... Fi There's some oxygen up here we want to feed water into, and I think... Yeah, I think we need to get all of this water and start dumping it into the oxygen supply up here. This is pulling oxygen and dumping it down to the bedrooms so that people in the bedrooms have oxygen. There's one over here that's supposed to be dumping oxygen in as well, and yeah, this just is keeping them oxygenated, so we need to keep these operational. And I had turned these off, so it turns out there was a reason for them existing. Uh, my bad. Now, that means you can be severed, actually. I want all of the water going up there. We need none of it going into these liquid tanks. These liquid tanks have five tons of water left, so I think they'll be fine for now. Okay. Food-wise, only six people are starving. That is great. Actually, we're going to make that a priority seven as well. Someone's getting to actually sit at a seat. Hell yeah. Uh, we are not giving anyone slime lung cures. We are just going to send them to bed if they get sick. It's the only way. Okay, is that going again? Yep, we've got some oxygen being produced over here. Perfect. And is that a dining hall? Ah, uh, we have a great hall. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. What are you picking up iron ore? Oh, yeah, I deconstructed a bunch of the power wiring in here, so they're grabbing the iron ore to actually do construction projects. I just some, saw someone doing some disinfecting. We're going to uh, ignore that. We're going to be a germ base. Oh, someone's stress vomiting again. Hope you feel better. Ugh. This base just feels like... I feel like I have to take a shower. <laughs> what are you? You are a cool slush geyser. Okay, that's putting polluted water in there. That's being pumped up. Oh, yeah, so that's giving most of the oxygen to the base. Right. That actually kind of works. Hey, we've got batteries are full. Those batteries are charging. And everyone, like everyone and their mother is getting on for a... Yeah, for the massage clinic stuff. Suffocating. Who is suffocating? Get out of there. Perfect. Right. Now, once we have a dining hall built, actually we need a second dining hall as well, but once this is completed, we're going to make another dining hall. We then also have to put in bathrooms. I haven't had a chance to put in bathrooms because we literally can't. We just don't have the spare bandwidth to do it. I think we're going to line them up over here, though. Assuming we've got enough metal left to make doors. This thing is taking an awful lot of metal to make. So far, we're up to four dead duplicates. Uh, we have got... Turder has starved to death. Uh, right. 
someone else has starved to death. And someone else has starved to death. Oh, and there's a Muppet that starved to death. So, Muppet 3 has definitely died. Uh, yeah, we're down to 41. We were at 43 or 44 when we started. Uh, there was going to be, of course, some problems. And we have three people cooking as much as they can. And if they would hurry up, that would be grateful. But we shouldn't have any more deaths from now on. Any more. All right, you, choose the blueprint. What do you got for us? We will take the joyous seeds. We are not taking any more duplicates because we don't need them. Uh, that can be deconstructed. In fact, those showers can be deconstructed. I don't know why this exists here. Yeah, that can also go. How are these bathrooms functional? Oh, they're not. Never mind. Never mind. That's fine. Okay, is that almost done? No, not quite. All right, you guys can be deconstructed as well. In fact, we're going to stick in a bathroom right here. I'm thinking... Have we got the metals for it? Yeah, we'll be fine-ish. In fact, we're just going to use... You know, we're gonna, we'll save the gold amalgam for the actual uh, toilets themselves. Might as well make it fancy if we can. But that should stop a lot of the actual mental breaks. And what do we got there? That's 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, we're still going to need a second dining hall. Uh, no, we need a, this massage thing. What, do we need the weasel warts? Probably do. This place is a bit toasty. We literally have a bunch of these electrolyzers going right here. Uh, we still have not got our crops down, but I figure we've got, like, at least 50 cycles or so of raw food lying around the place. Assuming someone can get in there and mine that at some point. Like, is there no one set to do that? Uh, number 92? How is that issue number... Oh, yeah, we do have queued up a fair bit of construction, but I didn't think we had that much construction queued up. What about you guys? 55? Oh, the deconstructions. The deconstructions are taking priority. That's probably a good thing, though. It's giving us back a whole bunch of metal and resources that have been burned on building all of that heavy conductive wire. That heavy conductive wire is expensive stuff. And what's the temperature like in here? Eh, reasonable. Uh, we can deconstruct all of this as well when the time comes. All right, once you've finished doing all that deconstruction, you've caught up with all of that, you can get around to finishing this building set off. Don't worry, Muppet 7. Things are not going to get much better. Well, maybe in a while. But not quite yet. Uh, how are we looking? Okay, so my oxygen pressure is back here. That's good. Where are my cooks? There's six of you assigned to this. There should always be three cooks here. What do you do? It. No breaks. Keep going. Lashing out. Okay, who's lashing out? Up at 16. Okay. That's fine. What are you going to do? And you're going to go punch the plastic press? Uh, go for it, actually. <laughs> I've never actually seen a tantrum before. Yeah, disable auto repair. Yeah, yeah, you go smash that up, buddy. You go smash that up. You feel better? How's your stress levels after that? Uh, stress is... still at 100%. Right. Total change per day, 40%. Minus 10% for chipper. Uh, oh, da difficulty down. Oh, what's the settings out on this? Damn it, I thought there was a way I could figure out what the settings were. You know what? Doesn't really matter. But uh, what's their food requirements then? That might explain a lot. Minus 500. Okay, so this is on easy difficulty then. Otherwise, it's a thousand calories a cycle. But total change per cycle is only minus 500. Ah, okay. That's how they've gotten this far and had this many duplicates. Oh, we're down to 40. Another one died? Muppet 11. Poor, poor Muppet 11. Uh, yeah, guys. Do you want to cook some more food? We're up to 1,200 calories. Where is the rest of my cooks? I really should have signed about, say, six cooks. And that, or I had six cooks assigned. Maybe I should have made two or three more grills and got them all cooking a lot faster. In fact, you know what? Let's put down a couple more. And let's promote a couple more people to grilling. That's why buildings are getting broken. People are throwing tantrums and destroying the buildings. Why can't I arrest them? Where's the ability to put them in jail? Why can't I start a fist fight with them? Where's the RimWorld control you have? Someone get a gun out. Hmm. Uh, uh, let's see. Give me two more girls, though. I need two more girls in this bathroom up and running, and then we should be semi-stable. Then we can probably get around to making them some bedrooms that aren't quite so spread out. 
The fact that we are, have staggered their timetables means that they won't all go to the bedroom at the same time, which means this entire area is not getting all of its oxygen sucked out during the night time. And since we've changed them all to new schedules, this amount of toilets should actually be able to handle the pressure. In theory, assuming we can get enough clean water into it. And we'll have to put a sieve behind it as well, but... Even with all the duplicates we have, they're just not getting the production around fast enough. Oh, and you will need to be... Sleep wheat grain, and you are going to need to be frost buns. And we'll make your priority six, and I'm going to have to see if there's any more stuff around here where this is being stored. What are you? You are... No good. You are deconstructed. Okay. So while I was busy getting this built, no one was busy getting into these seeds, so we've run out of sleep wheat grain again. So would you hurry up? Like, pronto? Super fastish? We kinda need those seeds now before we end up with uh, a few more corpses. Also, I've discovered where they've been hiding their war crimes. That's a lot of dupes. That is 20 of them. And only two of these belong to me? The rest are like, oh, Nesbitt, Harold, Mitt, yeah, that is, that is a lot of dead duplicates. My god, that is an enormous amount of duplicates. Okay. You guys, you guys almost done there? I had to set this to priority nine. Not my finest hour, but we need those food quickly. Oh, excellent, there's a cook. Guys, hurry up. In fact, I can probably set this to times two now. Ooh, excellent, you almost trapped yourselves. Come on, you're so close. Just one last piece. There you go. Now, we'll have that moved over to here as soon as possible. I'm not even sure what that belongs to. You know what? We can cancel you. I think we've got everything else moved. And that's that sleep wheat that got dropped down a hole somewhere that we can no longer gain access to. You know what? No. Not going to worry about it. It was only one sleep wheat grain anyway. Now, anyone want to move that? Anyone? Oh, maybe I should make that a very high priority. That might be an idea. Well, that is going okay. We've got no calories left again. Yeah, I need to start being more aggressive about ripping this place apart. Uh, and also, okay, that will get us 60-something wheat. Then I need to go down here and get us even more. Uh, how do we get in there without letting all of that water out? Also, this place is a little bit overheated. You know what? This place should be sealed off. That would make a yeah, I don't want any of that water getting out. That's going to scald a dupe or two, but I think it's the only way. Ooh, it's definitely going to scald some people. Right, that is sealed off. Uh, we should have broken... Yeah, we've broken it up here. We're going to sweep that up, assuming someone gets around to it anytime soon. No? Anyone? Then we're going to break in here and grab those as well. In fact, yeah, let's not stop. Let's keep going. I don't want to mess this up any more than I already have. Uh, we'll get you in there. That should allow people to hop in and grab all of those. And then you can go up there so we can grab that. Oh, and we're also going to want to go up there. Yeah, that should allow everyone... And we're also going to want to go up... Nope, nope, nope. There. Excellent. That gains us access to everything except these over here. Uh, a little bit of digging... Yeah, well, you know what? I'm not even going to care too much. We are going to dig down to there. We can do two steps at a time, so... Da -da 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 grant. Then we'll set all of those to harvest. Problem solved. Yeah, we should have enough... Guys, do you want to finish that off? Any time at all now. Just any time at all. Takes forever when you're digging straight up. Yeah, but food-wise, we have just enough calories to keep everyone at. Five dupes starving simultaneously. Uh, you... Put down a couple more of those. I see why everyone's got such high strength. They've basically been running on these wheels. The wheels are the only thing keeping the power going. We should get in some coal generators. And I would, but I've just almost got the toilets done. Almost. Uh, you. Perfect. And one tile there. We'll siphon on some water. Fill up the system just a little bit. Get it running. Oh, uh, make sure these doors are set to never let anyone... You know what? We'll let people through one direction. Right. And you can all be set to... Done. It's only 285 cycles in and we're just about to finish the bathrooms. Now, we still have to get around to doing the auction. Over here, I made a few changes. I stuck in some uh, 
radiant gold pipes. Those radiant gold pipes are going to allow the water that comes in here to provide some cooling. To cool the area down just a little bit. It was getting up to 50 degrees. Now it's down to a nice 40. Still really uncomfortable to be working at those temperatures. Uh, how's everyone's stress looking? That's... Oh, God, that's still so bad. But it's fine. There's less people to stress out now. Yeah, all we need to do now is make a second dining hall and... Oh, we're going to have to start skill scrubbing people. Mm. And... Could someone turn that pump on? I want to make the level 9 command. If they turn this pump on, they should start ripping some of this hydrogen gas out of here. Hydrogen gas is starting to collect and it's becoming problematic. Uh, uh, no, not Wolframite. Damn it, why is it always pick Wolframite? We'll pick copper and I want to get a little bit more space up here. The reason being, I want the gas to flow out of there. We're getting a collection of hydrogen that's collecting down here and I don't want it. Like, all of that hydrogen gas needs to go. Oh, there's going to be so much ventilation and stuff just to get this place fixed up. But it's doable. It's doable. Hopefully we won't have any more deaths. Now, um... How have you not moved that already? You know what? I will help you. I will move it down there. And... We shall make it a level 9 command. Why can they not pick it up? You can go up here. You can get a... Oh. That is my bad. Didn't realize that ladder segment was in the way. Where where are you? Come on, Muppet, get over here. That's one of the reasons I renamed them that. That way I can't make mistakes with the names anymore. New printables are available. What do you got for us? Nutrient bars. Yes! I will take the nutrient bars. That should hopefully keep a few more for them from starvation. Done! Finally! Now, so I'm gonna do some cooking. Uh, this should allow us to get through here fairly quickly and grab the second batch, and that should get us out of the food hole for a while. Now, I was thinking, when it came to the mushrooms, we might want to just stick them down here. Uh, or, actually, what's the power situation like down here? There is no power. Uh, I think moving it down here... Oh, no, I can't do it. It's just too far away. We need somewhere close by so that our people can do it. I think we've got to rip this out. I don't want to do a major reconstruction, but I just don't see a convenient way to do it anywhere down there. All of the carbon dioxide was getting ripped out by this gas pump. Then uh, the gas pump was pumping it all the way up to here. It went through a bunch of filter systems. Chlorine and oxygen got filtered out, but all the carbon dioxide then got... Oh, where did it go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carbon dioxide and polluted oxygen got sent up here and sent out into space, which seems wrong. Also natural gas. So I turned all of that off. We're going to let the carbon dioxide collect and we're going to use that to farm mushrooms. Which means we should probably get started on that. Yeah, we don't have much time, do we? I might just have to build closer to the bottom or start ripping this out. No, no. Bathrooms first. Then mushrooms. Okay. Where is that water even coming from? That's the thing. I don't know where half the water and resources are coming from. That's coming off. Oh, that cooling loop line. Come on. So long as it fills up all the toilets and sinks for at least one flush, we should be golden. Are we? Come on. Okay, that's enough. Now, I need to put an overflow on this. Uh, I'm going to have the overflow be the clean water. What am I doing? I can't put an overflow on this. I don't have time for overflows. And I'm just going to have to make sure that if that tank fills up too much, I come back and fix it. Uh, you are going to be a priority seven. Otherwise, we're going to have people peeing everywhere again. Oh, wow. I just realized... There's an awful lot of liquids about the place. I mean, there's still way more than there should be. Like, an awful lot more than there should be. But there's an awful lot less than when we started. I think we're finally getting top of that. Uh, this place here might be a bit of an issue, so... We'll put a bucket down there. That is so that any liquids that fall out of here when gases do their... Gases and solids do their weird thing, the liquids will fall down there and get caught. We should probably do something similar over here. Just to make sure... Ugh, we can't get all of them. Simpler plan. Wall it off. Oh, actually, no. We need to get those out, don't we? In that case, we'll do a semi-simpler plan. That gives us a sideways loop in, and any water will end up down there, unless it falls from here. Which it can't. Because that block is there, meaning all the water will have to pour into that section. Just stops the contamination. Now, over here, we're going to have to dig in. Uh, to there. Perfect. That'll allow us to gra grab 18 seat wheat, which is... Ooh, this got a bit of pollution exposure right now. Done. 
Okay. That should nab us enough food to keep us going for a while. I'm going to cram that into the fridge down here. What's this refrigerator looking like? we got 16 sleep, 17 sleep wheat grain and a bunch of cooks cooking. How's our calories looking? Still zero and seven people starving. You guys, you want to start cooking? Where's my chefs? There. Did you just... Where are you going? You're going to express themselves. What's that expression involve? Oh, no, never mind. They're picking up sleep with grin. Okay. So, once this is finished, I think it's time we... Yeah, once this is finished over here, we're going to go down and finish starting the mushrooms. This little... You... You... He's been eating the food. You... Good... No! How did I not notice this before? Kill them now. Burn them. What is going on there? There's some kind of weird glitch. Oh, finally. Okay. We're gonna need barbecue, please, forever. There's gonna be a couple of barbecue pieces coming along shortly. Uh, Calorie-wise, we're looking good. How are we looking on the... Yep, step around's doing fine. And you're digging in through there so we can get those resources. Perfect! Now, I need a quick refresher. What's the range on these? I mean, the temperature range. 5 to 35 degrees. Air pressure has to be carbon dioxide, minimum 150. All right, temperature wise, what are we looking down here? Ooh, 30 degrees, 32. Ooh. Dodgy. Very suspect. Okay, fine. We're going to do it over here. I think it's our only choice. Yeah. And we'll have to rip most of this junk out, though. Uh, that's going to be a whole construction project in itself. I don't really see any way to get anywhere else nearby unless. Oh. And I just realized something. I still haven't finished that second, uh, the second great hall so that we can help with the stresses there everyone's are having. I don't think it's going to help enough. Problem is, even though it's on easy, everyone reads a lot of morale. Like, look at this guy. He's a rocket engineer, a farmer, a rancher, uh, a, and an astronomer. No, I need to, yeah, I need to start skill scrubbing, don't I? I need to skill scrub people now. Or otherwise those stress reactions are going to keep happening. So... Put in about four here, do four at a time, we can do... That means we'll be able to do about eight a cycle. And start scrubbing the worst affected ones to hopefully start reducing the stress to manageable levels. And what do we get for our blueprints today? Icky yellow lavatory. Huh. Okay, that's uh, that's beautiful, thank you very much. Five skill scrubbers, coming up. Actually, we don't need that sandstone cell in the end. Um, hmm. And over here, I think we're going to deconstruct all of this. This is going to become our secondary Great Hall. We should be able to just about squeeze everyone in there. What is that even connected to? What, why is... Hmm. You know what? We'll move you over there. I'm, I kind of want to rip that out, but honestly at this point I'm not sure where half this stuff goes. So, we'll deconstruct that, rip all of this out. We have plenty of spare batteries. There is like a whole bunch more over here, over here. I think there's just an overkill in batteries. Going through the skills here, we can see there's, well, what we're looking for here is morale basically, and anyone who's got more than 20 points, uh, as in 20 requirements. So if we keep going down, we've got Muppet 5 here, who requires 26 mood, or 26 morale, just to not have mental breaks. That is also mental. So anyone with 20 or above, I'm starting to put in here. We already have five candidates who are in there and we've got a sixth candidate who needs to go in, but hasn't yet because we don't have space. But once we've got rid of the first six, that means we just have to take care of people who are above, say, 15 uh, morale. And then that should put us almost around normality. Ooh. Don't, don't, don't get rid of that. Now, does anyone want to move these down here? We want you to put them all down here. The, uh... The movement thing is not going well. No one wants to haul anything. I think I'm going to put in some coal generators just so that we can get the power moving. In fact, that should buy us a little time if we put in some coal generators just to tide us over a little scooch of a bit. What the hell? Here's me struggling for raw ores. There's 20 tons of gold, 23 tons of iron, 25 tons of copper, all refined. What? They must have refined all the raw ores down to... That's actually incredibly impressive. The fact that they managed to do all of that without killing their base, that's very, very impressive. Yeah, we're just going to hook up uh, three generators here. We do have a little bit of coal around the place. 
Uh, I should uh, also maybe put in, say, a few tombstones right here. Uh, just a few tasteful ones, uh, maybe a few preemptive ones. You might have to cull the population a little bit just, just to make things more reasonable. Uh, uh, two people are getting their brains shook up. And that should get built shortly. And hopefully we have enough food to tide us over so I can get the mushrooms installed uh, before I kill us all. Would you look at that? Five cooks cooking away. Bathrooms present and accounted for. Duplicates getting their brains cleaned out. And, okay, it is eating into our battery reserves, but that's fine. We're sticking a few coal generators. How much coal do we have? 17 tons. In fact, we'll stick in a few more coal generators down here. If, yeah, I don't think anyone... Yeah, there's a... Oh, wow. I just realized the only other way down here is to there. Maybe I should introduce a second exit... Why is there not a ladder system going through here? There's no consistency. First five dupes have been scrubbed spotlessly clean, uh, have been reassigned to new tasks and been given new hats. Uh, we've almost got the coal generators up and running. Uh, we've set them all to 100% to make sure that they get refilled. Unless it's been changed, it's always the case if you leave it at 50%, they won't get fuel until the batteries are at 50% and the automation signal is on. So what you kind of want to do is leave them at about uh, at 100% so they always get refilled if they need coal at all. And the battery just has to go below like 99% and it starts going, yeah, we'll drop you off the coal because they will always not get enough coal otherwise. Now, one last thing. Storage bin. We shall put you right there and right there and we'll dump all of the local coal in there. Or at least set it up that the coal gets brought here. Just so it's a little bit closer. Assuming the duplicates get around to that anytime soon. Also, another thing we can do is we can start replacing all of this heavy what wire with gold plated wire or heavy conductive wire which takes refined metals so we could say do something like that and that will give us back a whole bunch of ores which would be great now you guys almost finished there i just got to copy over this last setting to that one come on come on come on done and you need to be set to coal perfect Oh, well, such a priority, something stupidly, stupendously high. Just because otherwise I don't think it would ever get done around here. Uh, you guys still? Yeah, they're not doing so good over here. The oxygen level is a little bit low. They're not used to having this many people over this side of the base. All right. Next up, mushrooms. It's got to be the mushrooms. How much food we got? We only got 4,000 calories. How is that? And... Where is the seeds? Have you brought them all down? Oh, wow. They have actually struck mine that place out. Hmm... Mm, I should probably get my hands on more seeds right now before we starve, but I also need to get this done. To make sure I don't let us starve to death, I have queued up these commands in here to dig in and gain access to all of the sleet wheat. I've also queued up a bunch of commands to dig in here and gain access to all the sleet wheat, and I've set both of them to priority six. That way they should take precedence. Then we're going to do everything in here on priority five. Mm. And how are we going to do this, though, is the question. First up, we're gonna strip the place down for parts. Um, in fact, all of this area here can pretty much, well, go. Be gone. Oh, I should leave some of these bits in. I finally realized why stuff was not getting done in a timely manner. Uh, normally what I do on priorities is I only have people set to do digging, building, operating, researching, cooking, and then all the rest I kind of leave even. What was going on is there was just all of these storage bins around the place that wanted stuff stored in them. That's too many. There was ones over there, ones down here, and a third batch up there. So I've changed the priority on every single one of them to one. I've also turned then the priority on all of the composts. Can't have them get interfering either. And suddenly, power generators are stocked. Everything's starting to work again. That's what was killing me, and I just hadn't noticed. All right, in here, we're going to have to make some serious changes. Uh, you guys want to finish that ladder system anytime soon? That would be great. I might want to actually check up the priority on that. And food-wise, ooh, maybe I took too much sleet wheat. Actually, no, I, I cut off a few batches there because we were getting so much sleet wheat in, I thought it might be better if we didn't grab it all at once. You harvest. Uh, that guy's probably going to flood and die. Yeah. Worry about him later. And over here, same again. We're going to want to harvest all of the sleet wheat in this section. Except for that guy, because body te temperature is halted. All right, uh, let's finish this off as quick as we can. We need to get a crop down. Mushrooms only require slime to grow. That is it. So all we need to do is get slime down here and feed it to the mushrooms. Problem solved. Uh, ooh, and we might want to automate that for later. 
Let me see. I mean, we're not going to put in now, but maybe a little bit of preemptive planning might be in order. Actually, no, no, I can retrofit that in later. What I really need now is just to get it up and running. That is all that counts. And... Ooh, well, I should at least make sure how far I need to go to have it big enough, though. Actually, you know what? No, not going to put in the automation now. We do not have time. We need food. We need food now, and we don't need to be worrying about other stuff. So, uh, oh, and someone deconstruct that as well. What we need to do is start planting the first crop. We're making just regular farm tiles. We don't need to make hydroponics. Oh, we can make these out of clay. Actually, that might be a better idea. Why am I wasting dirt? Hmm. What? It's fine. We've already committed to this. Oh, actually, no. It's just dirt is such a rare resource right now. I think clay might be a better investment just in case. All right. Plan here is quite simple. We dump the slime in there, and the slime gets fed into these things. And uh, they are slowly getting sorted. We're going to have to sweep everything out of here, but I think I'd like to get the plants down first. And because there's a little bit of polluted oxygen, it's going to stifle the crop here and there, but getting more crops down faster is probably better than uh, holding out and making everything just perfect. It's got to be just good enough to keep us going. Over here, we've put in about 20 kilos of water. That's stopping the slime in here from off-gassing, so we're not adding any more polluted oxygen. There's only... 16 tons of slime or 18 tons of slime around the place, which seems like not a lot considering the amount of space that's been excavated. We might have to come down here and get more slime. Mm. Oh, actually, never mind. There's there's plenty of slime. We'll be good on slime for a few hundred cycles. We just got to get this colony stable. That's just, that's the only plan. We don't have enough carbon dioxide pressure in here. Ah, what's going on? Uh, I'm going to install an oxygen diffuser here. We've got a little bit of algae left and we're going to use that to pump oxygen in there. Also, over here, we should be producing a chunk of carbon dioxide from these things. Yeah, but it's not getting out of there just yet. We need to give that an exit so it can get somewhere. Uh, tell you what, give me some copper ore right there, there. There, that should give it a, a three-tile way of getting out of there and hopefully floating down to the bottom. We'll get some carbon dioxide from down there and we'll pump it in here as needs be. There's got to be some gas piping we can jerry-rig to for that. Uh, you guys can go like that, and we shall copy all the settings, and done. And what are you? Is that weird layer? Oh, you know what? It's fine, it's fine, so long as it's working, I don't care. All right, next. Probably another layer, actually. How many seeds have we got left? I think we started with about 60, and that is... Actually, about 60. Hmm. Hopefully this will slow down the way we're eating to our food supplies. Okay, that just leaves oxygen and we've got a semi-stable base. Though first, yeah, I do need to get carbon dioxide up here somehow. Hmm, how are we going to manage that is the question. The plan, super simple, uh, sort of. Down here we've got a gas pump. This is in the carbon dioxide that's falling down to the bottom of the map. We're going to have that come up here. Go through this pipe. I made a few adjustments here to disconnect it from this section. It's going to come across here. Oh, get rid of that. You can be deconstructed. Then it's going to flow straight through here. That gas vent can be deconstructed. It's going to flow straight through here, not through that uh, gas filter, not through that gas vent, and then go straight on up and right over here, where it's going to get dumped off in this room. It's actually been constructed. Oh, and not go that direction either. And not go that direction. Actually, never mind, it can have that as an option. This is from a gas pump down here, which, hmm. You're too far away power wise, but I suppose if we plug in the transformer, we could actually get that gas. There's a lot of gas down there. That could actually work. Hmm. No, nope, I don't think we need that much. I don't think we need that much. I think we'll be fine. And I think the scrubbing is finished. Everyone has been scrubbed spotlessly clean. 12 is the highest morale requirement of anyone. There's a 12, a 4, a 6, a 7, there's a cup, there's a 10, a 12. Done. Now all I gotta do is start assigning out some points. I mean, we gotta actually have some people who can do stuff, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, actually, we have a few diggers. We've probably lost all of our mechatronics engineers. No, we've still got two mechatronics engineers. Huh, impressive. For all these people with points that they've got to spare, we're just putting them into what they're good at. So, for example, builder with carrying. That's pretty much it. Mechatronics engineer with carrying. Well, okay, that was kind of a default. Uh, 
Advanced medical care with carrying, just so everyone has that extra carry capacity. Muppet 14 will just actually make you straight up carrying. There's no point doing anything else with you. We'll just make you a hauler. And you are going to be building. Done. It's simple enough to figure out who's good at what. And this way we can keep them low morale requirements so they can get by with the tiny, tiny amounts of morale we have available to work with. Oh, you are just going straight into carrying. You have you have no other purpose in this life but to carry, I'm afraid. Ooh, you have options. Well, we do probably want an artist, so we can't even afford that, can we? You know what? Never mind. I think we've got enough. So what I'm seeing here is the planter boxes were made out of dirt, so when we deconstructed the planter boxes, we got the dirt back, which is why some of these uh, mealwoods are growing again. I hadn't been paying attention. So what I need to do is get one harvest out of them and then destroy them. I, I, I don't want to have these all forever. That would be bad. Uh, how do I tell what percentage you're at? You're at 2%. Yeah, you need to go. That's going to be actually a decent amount of calories to keep us going. Uh, I've also tapped into the last of these. I paused these for it because I didn't want to take too much food and then have it go off or go rotten. But we definitely have a few grains left here and here. And another batch down here. So that should tide us over until our first crop of mushrooms come in. That's a lot of mushrooms. And... Ooh, Excellent, there's carbon dioxide's coming in, so that's going to pressurize this area a lot more. Ooh, you're done as well. See, more food. Okay, oxygen-wise, though, that's the next thing on the agenda. I'm thinking just throw together a big uh, Rodriguez over here somewhere. We've got water coming up from down there. Yeah, we've got a big pool of polluted water down here. We can use that polluted water to provide the oxygen and the cooling to it simultaneously. And once we get one of those built, I think, I think we're stable. That should be fairly straightforward. Now that's assuming this can feed us. Let me do the numbers on this to be sure. My math on this tells me we should be good as long as we have 53 and a half mushrooms planted. And we have over 60. And no- ooh, pufflets. You know what, I'll take those. I mean, we can make omelettes if needs be, but they can also come from me. The thing is, fried mushrooms here produce 2400 calories, 2800 calories when you cook them up. Then what you do is you just divide that by how many days it takes to grow them, which is 7.5. Uh, so that gives you how many calories they'll give you per day. And our duplicates only consume 500 calories per day. So it all works out as 53 and a, three and a half mushrooms will support them all. We've got 60, so we should be golden. In fact, let me just double check this. We have 34. And up here we have 31. So we've actually got 65. I think we're well covered. So once this first batch comes in, we should be fully stable, assuming we can keep them, well refrigerated and not go off for 7.5 days until the next batch comes in. So that just leaves oxygen. And I really just, I need to clean this up. There's so much messy gases everywhere. This is, this would drive me crazy. I could not live this way. Look at that. Oh, okay. So we're going to switch over to, yeah, we'll chuck down a nice Rodriguez. There's a perfectly cut out space over here. We can chuck down a Rodriguez lickety split. Well, that's looking just about done, but so are our food reserves. We're down to about 12,000 calories. We go through about 20,000 a day. So yeah, these mushrooms are not going to be ready for another three. I'm thinking more sleet wheat. <laughs> there really is just a ginormous amount of this stuff lying around. There's 50, oh, like so much in each one of these spots. So what we're going to do is we are going to dig down here. Uh, yeah, that should hopefully keep us just a little bit away from the water so that it doesn't flood in here. In fact, let's maybe, uh, make that more certain by doing a minor bit of terraforming. Perfect! That one sandstone tile will protect the ice biome. Well, for now, we'll, we'll build it up if needs be, depending on how much water is going to end up in here. In fact, how is our water source looking? You are still going active 16.8, next dormancy is 8.4 cycles, at which point we would have to start tapping into this one. Yeah, that's future Francis's problem. Current Francis's problem is getting this up and running to make sure that we can survive long enough to get this up and running. There's always one Muppet that gets themselves trapped. It doesn't matter what you do, they always find a way. All right, come on, get out of there. We're almost ready to fire this thing up. Uh, how are we looking on the food front? Did you guys get in there yet? How? How have you not gotten in there? They're doing that thing where one person comes down and does the digging, then another person comes along and does the actual production or the construction. Are you? Come on, just do the digging now. Do the digging. Yeah, there you go. Now, can you do the next batch of digging, maybe? Actually, grab out that piece of ice while you're there. Oh, yeah. 
Not a lot of oxygen down here. Should probably in... They have to go all the way over there to breathe. That's probably what's messing it up. That's my bad. I should have been paying more attention. Normally I don't have this much junk gas down at the bottom of my base. I should probably actually start pumping some of that out or at least storing it up. Are uh, you guys done yet? And there we go. That is a big influx of food. Perfect, which is good because we're down to zero calories. But no one's starving yet. No one's starving. And hey, we got a gate activation. What do we got? Some food would be nice. Ah, shy nymphs. The wake makers. No, thank you. We will just take your care package. All right, we're almost finished. Uh, I'm doing a little cooling blob thing here. Uh, why not? It's probably unnecessary, but let's go for it. Then what we can do is we can hook this up. Oh, I need to bring water up here. That's what I need to do. So this thing needs its own water supply. Yeah, I'm thinking a little bit further down. And we can stick in a, a liquid pump down here. New water pump installed, just a little bit lower down to make sure we have a larger pool of liquid to draw from. Uh, that all gets pumped up here, same way as before. There seems to be a filtration system. I think the clean water goes out that way. Why do we have bathrooms here? I need to make sure that there's... I've, I've just deleted a few others earlier. There's just multiple ones all about the place. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, anyway, the, ha the polluted water comes up here, gets filtered, gets sent up. Uh, somehow it ends up over here, right? How, how does it go? It goes... Yep, goes up here, through this for some reason. No idea why that's there. Have to probably fix that at some point. Then it rotates through this section, which is entirely pointless. You know what? Yep, you are pointless. There is no need for your existence whatsoever. Uh, there, that is perfect. Now we just have to remove the outflow to you. And now all of this should flow out of there. Perfect. Where is that polluted water coming from? You know, there's another toilet. You disable. <laughs> Don't to me. That's the one in the bathroom, or that's the one in the hospital. Actually, you know what? It's in the hospital, they can have that one. All right. Well, all that water eventually somehow ends up at these uh, water sieves. I'm sort of patching myself onto their system just to bootstrap everything. Then this goes up here and it goes through all of these radiant pipes. They ca they kind of go past all these radiant gas pipes that are coming out to hopefully cool down any of the oxygen that's produced. And that should be it. Then all we have to do is hook up the power. I've plugged it into the main grid for now. Oh, actually... Hmm, you know what? Let it rock. And... Go. We're spitting out all the resources at this side, not letting any of it get into the generators just yet. We want to make sure we clean everything up. Yeah, because as you can see, it's a little bit messy. We're just using the standard 250, 450 settings. Uh, this is the original variant of the Rodriguez. There's a couple of other, like you can squish it down and do it different variants. This is just the original because it's the one I had on hand. All right. Doom, doom, doom. Hey, oxygen's flowing. Hydrogen is... No. What is going on if the pressure is above 250? It was on below. My bad. And if you're above 450 and you're above 450. We'll give that a minute and soon we'll have enough oxygen to keep all the... <laughs> the amount of them using those. Okay. Okay, they filled all the batteries. Everything's good. Are we out of coal? Down to seven tons. Okay, that's not great. And that has stabilized. Perfect. That means we can sever this. Perfect. Then what we can do is seal this sucker. Oh, actually, no. Can't seal it up just... Yeah, we can seal up the top bit at least. What we want to do here is pressurize this a bit. The gas pressure around here is pretty low, so I'd like this to have at least a kilo or two, just to make sure there's something to exchange heat with for these uh, hydrogen generators. Okay, that's a lot of hydrogen going through. It'll be fine. They'll they'll fill up the walls in no time, and then we'll worry about it then. Uh, over here, yeah, oxygen pressure is going to go up. We can actually replace those gas vents with regular vents. We used the high pressure vents so that we could just keep off gassing no matter what. We had to make sure that kept running until this had evened out. And how? How is that polluted oxygen surviving in there? That makes... Okay, it's impressive. Whatever it's doing, it's definitely impressive. Okay, in here, this is pressurizing up. You know what? Oh, no, we can't disconnect it just yet. This is getting most of its power from the rest of the base, so we can't disconnect it just yet, but we should in a little bit. Soon enough, soon enough.
we're installing all the piping here, which means all the algae terrariums can go. All of... How did that get severed? That makes no sense. Oh, I must have deconstructed that. If you'll check out the stress meters, the highest stress level is 3%. Everyone else is at a nice balmy zero. They're all nice and calm, and there's not a whole bunch of them stuck in the massage table room. So everyone's good. We've got 55,000 calories in storage. Our first crop of dust caps is going to come in probably in less than a cycle. And everything seems golden. All we got to do is install these piping. And I think I can call this base, well, stable. There'd be other things you'd want to do, like add in more water here and all that. But uh, we'll, actually, no, we'll go over that once it's finished. Our first crop is just coming in. The dust caps are finally sprouting. That's going to be a lot of calories. Now, uh, consumables wise, I've turned off the consumption of mushrooms. We're going to have to wait until they're fried dust caps. We want to get the maximum amount of calories out of them. And blueprint wise, ooh, shovel eggs. No, no, fried mushrooms. We haven't even cooked a fried mushroom yet. How? Oh. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is now sorted. This base is stable and it can finally get around to just like cleaning mess the messes up. Uh, actually, how's the water looking on, on liquids front? Oh. So much better. You can go, you can go. There's like, there's a few blobs here and there that need to be gotten rid of, but they're not in high traffic areas. They're areas we have just been ignoring because we haven't been looking at them. Get rid of those few blobs here and there. Oh, mm, yeah, no, we can't get rid of that. That's actually going to be permanent. Okay. Uh, oxygen wise, the oxygen pipes are now flowing. It's going to take a while to pressurize this whole area. Reason being, most of the oxygen was coming from down here with the algae deoxidizers or algae terrariums. So the pressure had to kind of percolate up and that was just not very fast or efficient in any way, shape or form. Uh, there was a bunch of pumping around. There was these, oh, these electrolyzers can go. We can get rid of these finally. You have no need to exist anymore. Perfect. We'll just wait until they run out of water there. Uh, the rest of that water, I don't even know where it goes. It's it, it flows around and does stuff. But you know what? All that matters is the main systems are getting fed. Also, turns out we had a lot more water lying around than I thought. All those algae terrariums had been off gas, well, off producing water, polluted water on the side. So there's several tons of this stuff lying around here. Uh, that reminds me, I should probably make sure we don't accidentally flood this area with the amount of this stuff we're about to dump in here. Not that it matters. Okay, I think we have successfully got this colony down to stable. Okay, the slime lung germs are a bit of a problem, but that's more of a long-term concern. You're going to need to wipe out all of the polluted oxygen. That's just going to take, well, time and a lot of deodorizers. Oh, we should probably give them individual bedrooms, but it's only worth, I think it's one morale. Yeah, yes, barracks. Barracks are worth plus one morale. Not really worth it for what we're doing. We re we've reduced everyone's morale requirements so low, everyone's getting along just fine. Even if we check out the skills here, you can see everyone's doing hunky-dory and they're all going to be living on mushrooms for the foreseeable future. And how much slime do we do? We eat to a fair chunk of slime, but I think we can find plenty more lying around. Now would be the time to start getting into hatches. There is a couple of them still running around here. Yeah, there's two hatches still here. And uh, there is an egg somewhere over there that should have hatched by now. Where is it? Ah, yeah, there's another one over there. So there's three hatches. Start getting into the hatch ranching now to stabilize the food supply. Then it would be a case of just expanding as normal. There's oil down there you can start getting into. Reed fiber, that kind of stuff. This can all go. A whole bunch of the... Resources have been refined, but I would I would start ripping all that heavy wire. There's too much heavy wire around the place. I would go around getting a battery box, transformers, ripping out most of the piping and replacing it so it, it doesn't make my brain hurt as, quite as much. Uh, why is that not... That should be draining all the water out of there. You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's done. What I'll do is uh, I'll include the link to the Reddit post of the person who put this up on the Reddit. If you want the save game file is there if you want to download it. I'll upload this save or link this save in the description if you want to play around with it yourself. Pretty sure I, if I had it tried harder, I probably could have saved the last three or four dupes. Or was it three dupes? Yeah, the last three dupes or so. But I don't feel so bad. Once I saw that uh, that mass grave, I thought, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. The, the amount of losses were acceptable. What I really enjoyed about this one was, this is all of the mistakes we always make. You can see over here where this all got walled in. That's because all the crops got stifled because of the heat coming out of this thing. And you can see where they put down all these insulated tiles. And there was a whole bunch of ice that had been put over here to cool down this area. And there was weasel warts put in and all that stuff. At the same time, there was the carbon dioxide down the bottom, but that had been all pumped out into space, which was normally what gets you the carbon dioxide rising up from the bottom and choking you out. 
Uh, then there was all the algae was gone. Pretty much, they were down to the last. I think it was seven tons when we came, when we booted it up. Most of the coal was gone, down to about seventeen tons. Uh, all the dirt was gone. This was just. It was classic oxygen not included start, like in a good way. It was just it, this is how we all play when we first started. So you know, no being mean. This is like this was beautiful. This was. But this was all of those mistakes cranked up to 11. This was 40 duplicates. Though, to put on normal difficulty, it's 20 duplicates, which, yeah, I suppose makes it less impressive. But 40 just sounds so much nicer. Anyway, this was, uh, this was a little bit of oxygen unincluded. Uh, I'll be doing a channel update uh, very shortly, and uh, i got to put up a couple of polls as well for people in the next games to come. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little attempt at fixing someone's base, and uh, good luck. <laughs>